Hey gamers, Sleepy here. Today we're going to go over seven of the uncommon and rarest Platinum Hits titles released for the original Xbox console. Now, Platinum Hits titles are similar to Sony's Greatest Hits titles that they released for their uh, PlayStation consoles, and also similar to Nintendo's uh, Player Choice uh, games. So, Platinum Hits are games that Microsoft uh, re-released off of their more popular titles and games that sold very well. Uh, those are the titles that they chose uh, to re-release as uh, Platinum Hits. And the reason they did that was, one, they wanted to make more money, and two, they wanted to give a chance for uh, some gamers to be able to experience some of the games that they might not have been able to when they were new at a bargain price, which is awesome because most Platinum Hits titles were released at $19.99. There were a couple uh, the multi-packs that were released a little bit higher, but majority of them were only $19.99, which was a great deal because... You know, games were $50 brand new, and you were able to get a brand new game uh, for 20 bucks. Now, a majority of the original Xbox uh, library is easy to find. Uh, same thing is for their Platinum Hits games. A lot of the Platinum Hits titles are very easy to track down. Uh, they're not usually too expensive, uh, but there are a handful of games that are really difficult to track down, and some are just extremely rare. Uh, of these seven here, I'm going to show you. I only was able to find a couple of my own. Uh, the main ones here that I had to get uh, were thanks to other collectors and friends here on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. You know, I would not have been able to find these without help because they're just that rare and uh, uncommon to find. So with that, we're going to go start off this with uh, number seven. And this one is a sports title. This one is uncommon, and that is EA Sports MVP Baseball 2005. Now, this title is not... Tremendously difficult to find it. It's uncommon. Uh, I found this one on eBay. It was like five or six dollars. wasn't too much. Uh, but at any time on eBay, I maybe see one or two of these uh, every couple of months. You know, it's not like they're on there all the time like some of the other titles. Uh, but it's definitely not something I've considered rare since I've seen like four or five of them this past couple of months. But definitely a title to keep an eye out for if you're collecting the Platinum Hit set. So number seven is EA Sports. MVP Baseball 2005. Number six is a racing game, and it's awesome, and it is Forza Motorsport. Now, this game is awesome. It launched an amazing Forza series. You know, it's still going strong today on the Xbox One. Awesome game. Uh, now, this, you can easily find a regular copy on the original Xbox. You know, there was just millions of copies out there, but it's really difficult to track down the Platinum Hits version. This is another one I put on Common. I've seen a couple copies on eBay, but uh, not very many. I got this one on there, I think, for like 6 or $7. Uh, definitely an uncommon Platinum Hits title to keep an eye out for. So, number six is Forza Motorsport. Number five, another EA Sports team title here, and it is Fight Night Round 2. Now, this one is definitely uh, an uncommon, uh, borderline rare Platinum Hits title. I've only ever seen two copies on eBay. One time was in a lot for like 25 bucks, and the other one was for a brand new sealed copy for 50 But luckily, I was able to get this as a free gift for Christmas last year for my good friend Tom, TV46667, the Golden Age Gamer. He was awesome. He was able to find this at one of his local game stores for like 6 bucks, and uh, he sent it to me, so I was really, really happy to get this and so excited because I could not find it locally. And I missed those two on eBay, and luckily he was able to send it to me, so I'm so happy to have this collection. So, number five is EA Sports Fight Night Round 2, and that is uncommon. Now we're going to start getting into the games that are pretty rare. Here at number four is Tony Hawk's Project 8. Now you can easily get the black labeled copy of this on the original Xbox. You know, this one's pretty easy to find. But the Platinum Hits version on the original Xbox is really difficult uh, to track down. A uh, reason for that is, you know, this was also released on the Xbox 360, which was a more popular console uh, than the original Xbox. And also the 360 also had a Platinum Hits version of this. So there weren't that many uh, copies printed for the original uh, Xbox Platinum Hits set. This one took me a while to found, find. I actually found this down uh, in Columbus when I was on vacation. And I got it for... I think like $12 or something. Really awesome. Uh, definitely a rare title for the Platinum Hits set. I've never, ever seen a copy for sale on eBay. And I searched for months until I finally found one locally. So 
very happy to have this. Now we're coming up here, uh, number three. This is another extremely rare title. I've only ever seen one copy on eBay, and it was a disc-only copy that I bought for six bucks. Luckily, uh, my good buddy Tom, I was watching one of my other buddies' videos, uh, Sega Man Tony, and uh, the, he actually picked one up, and we actually traded. So I gave him my Black Label copy for this, and that was a copy of SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants. Now, the regular version is already pretty difficult to track down these days. It's usually about $15 to $20. I only ever see, like, one or two copies locally, but I've never, ever found the Platinum Hits version. And like I said, I only ever saw it one time on eBay, and it was disc only, so I was so happy to finally get it complete from him. So number three is SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants, third rarest on the system. Uh, number two, here's another uh, title, very hard uh, to find. I got lucky that my uh, buddy up Adam up in Canada found this title, and he gave me a great deal on it. And that was 50 Cent Bulletproof. Now, this game is fairly easy to get, the regular version of, but this Platinum Hits one is extremely difficult to uh, track down. I've never seen one for sale online anywhere. I've never found it locally. Uh, had to have a very low print run. Definitely very rare title to find. So number two on the list is 50 Cent Bulletproof. And now we'll come on to the number one rarest uh, title released for the Platinum Hits set. And that is the Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Now this one, crazy difficult to find. Uh, whenever you go on eBay, there's anywhere between 150 to 200 uh, copies for the original Xbox, you know, the regular version. Not a single one of them ever has been the Platinum Hits set. And I've been looking for like a year now. I've never seen one for sale on there. Uh, it's really hard uh, to find this game. You know, it's tough to even to find lists or people to even confirm that this is a real game. You know, most people didn't even... I uh, think this was released as a Platinum Hits. There was a lot of debate on it. I thought it myself that it didn't get released until I saw pictures of a collector and other people that actually had it. So I found out that it actually did exist. And I got this from my good buddy Simon in Canada, which is awesome. So I'm very happy to get number one. And a thing that I didn't even know about until he found it is there's actually another version of this Platinum Hits set. And it was a Canadian version. And that one is here. He also found me this one as well because this one was in English and French and has both manuals in it. So there's actually two versions of this extremely difficult to find game and both of them were found in Canada. So this one definitely is a Canadian exclusive only. Uh, this one was released in uh, Canada and America, but both of them had extremely low print runs. So this is the rarest Platinum Hits title out there uh, that you can find. So number one is Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. There's the US version and then there's the uh, Canadian version. Both extremely difficult to track down. Now then those top three games you could kind of move them around to spot the rarest you know which one's rare than the others. It's really difficult to say but they all had to have had extremely uh, low print runs and they're definitely uh, not easy to find. Luckily you know I wouldn't say that they're gonna be worth a whole lot of money right now since the original Xbox isn't as popular to collect for as other systems but it's getting more popular, and with titles like that that are hard to find, you only know that they're going to go up in price uh, over the years. Hope this list has helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care, have a great day, and sleepy. I'll see you guys next time.